it's a huge week this week for college basketball with uh, some of the great rivalry matchups we have, but it's a lot different for two of them. Uh, Connecticut and Syracuse in the Big East. The last time these teams met, the game didn't end until 1.26 a.m., the six overtime game in the Big East quarterfinals. Uh, this time it's a lot different. Syracuse is coming in as the number two team in the country. Connecticut, 14-9. and nine. Uh, It's nothing like the Final Four team from last year. Uh, they're 11th in the Big East right now. They're struggling. They don't have their coach back. We're still waiting to see when Jim Calhoun's going to return from his uh, – medical leave. Uh, so there's going to be over 30,000 people there, and there's going to be a lot of hate and venom in the building, but it's just not going to be the way it usually is. The other one, Duke and North Carolina. North Carolina, uh, just like Connecticut, a Final Four team last year, only they won the national championship, uh, lost four starters from that team, and it's tough to make it up. They're 13 and 10. Uh, they're 10th in the ACC. Uh, it looks like the standings are upside down when you see Carolina that low in there. There's a new kid on the block among the conferences, and that's the Mountain West. And this week's AP Top 25, there are more Mountain West teams in the Top 25 than there are ACC and Pac-10 teams combined. Uh, the Mountain West has uh, the three teams tied for the top of the conference, New Mexico, BYU, and uh, UNLV. Uh, they're all tied at the top of the league. They're all in the top 25. The ACC only has Duke and Georgia Tech. And the Pac-10 for the fifth straight week doesn't have any team in the top 25. The new kids on the block as far as players go, all everyone's talked about this year is John Wall. You haven't heard a sentence mentioned uh, about the good players in college basketball without freshman star John Wall. It's like it's become part of his first name. Well, there's a freshman on his own team who's playing better than he is right now and who hasn't hit that freshman wall that everyone talks about after about 20 games. And that's DeMarcus Cousins, the 6'10 center. He's on a string of six straight double-doubles. He's had 14 total this season. He's averaging 16.4 points a game, 10 rebounds a game. Uh, he's been dominant down low. And the thing he's doing for Kentucky is he's playing so well down low, They ne you need more than one defender to cover him. And when that second defender goes over to get him, John Wall's open now. Eric Bledsoe is open now, and all of a sudden it becomes a totally different team. So while Wall has been getting all the headlines, Cousins is the guy who's had Kentucky up in the top five all season.